Throw up there Acts chapter 18, 24 through 28. Acts chapter 18, 24 through 28. Jennifer. We'll be coming out of the New Living Translation this morning because we need some folks to be living. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Here we go. Mm, oh, someone just said that the word share is getting flagged. So whenever you say or type in the word share, that's also being flagged. They had done some really? research. So they're using the word sprinkle. <laughs> Let's sprinkle this. Sprinkle on. Over the next couple saturate. of weeks, we're going to sprinkle. Saturate. And saturate. Overflow. Deluge. <laughs> this. Okay. Thank you, Dawn. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, an eloquent speaker who knew the scripture well and arrived in Ephesus from Alexandria in Egypt, mm -hmm. he had been taught the way of the Lord and he taught others about <coughs> Jesus with an enthusiastic spirit with accuracy. However, he knew only about John's baptism. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him preaching boldly in the synagogue, they took him aside and explained the way yes. of God even more accurately. <coughs> So Apollos had been thinking about going to Achaia, yes. and the brothers and sisters in Ephesus encouraged him to go. They wrote to the believers in Achaia and asking him, them to welcome him. When he yes. arrived there, he proved to be of great benefit to those who, by God's grace, had believed. So mm -hmm. he refuted the Jews with powerful arguments and public debate. <laughs> Using the scripture, he explained to them that Jesus was the Messiah. Here we go. What do we know about Apollos? All right, we know some things about hey, Apollos Evan. through what we just read right here. Apollos was a very eloquent speaker, okay? Hey, Cody. He knew the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He knew the word because it says that he was. It says he was an eloquent speaker who knew the scriptures well. Yes. So we know that he was a student of the word of God, mm -hmm. okay? He had been taught the way of the Lord. He understood the baptism of John, Okay. What did I write there? Tor got Jesus with it. Okay. He, <laughs> hey, Jennifer I, Stewart. I realized I wrote something and it didn't come out right. <laughs> Typo. But he autocrat. preached Jesus with enthusiastic spirit and with accuracy. Here we find, I believe, the first charismatic preacher. Come on, come Here on. Here we find Apollos yes. was the first. What are you about to say? Well, many of you are jumping Sprinkle on. Sprinkle and tag. yes. Help us we can't get say this a word. certain word, so sprinkle and tag. Help us get this word out. Comment as much as you can. We, we can find, see the comments today, so we, we want to boost, oh, boost this. Stop. <laughs> go, go, go. Here we find the first charismatic preacher come on the scene, because mm -hmm. it even says this about him. Mm -hmm. He's preached with enthusiasm, and he preached with accuracy. Mm -hmm. Enthusiastic spirit and accuracy. Hello, the Word and the Holy Ghost got to come together. Yes. And in doing that, we receive... Um, or we released the power of the Holy Ghost. He knew about John's baptism. Now, Priscilla and Aquila showed up. Mm -hmm. These guys hung out with Paul, so they learned under Paul, and they were sent out by Paul, and they spent time with Paul. So watch what they did. I'm going to give an example here, yeah. and this needs to go out to everybody in ministry. If you're in ministry, I'm going to give you an example of how to do something appropriately. Or if you're interested in going into ministry. Okay. They took Apollos aside away from everybody yes. and explained the way of God with more accuracy. They didn't bust him out. They didn't talk trash to other people and say, he don't get this and we need to we need to pull him aside. No, they just pulled him aside. They didn't bust him out in front of everybody mm -hmm. and run their mouths. Mm -hmm. They didn't do public humiliation. They took him aside and began to speak to him. So ministers yes. take note on that. Always take people aside. Well, it's and not in front of other people, right? It, you know, something that we learned in business that we learned um, actually through my dad. You always praise in public and you criticize in private. There you go. So you don't do those type of corrections in front of everybody. So watch what watch 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 what Priscilla and Aquila did right here. I love this, and this is going to be a part of you. Yes. Okay. This is going to be a part of something that you're going to do for us. If you love this ministry or part of this ministry and you want to see this ministry grow and come to your area, Priscilla and Aquila wrote a letter of recommendation to the believers of Achaia. 
and said, y'all need to receive this guy. Y'all need to bring him in because mm-hmm. he knows the word. We've been with him. We've That's taught good. him. We've spoke to him. He's preaching the word. He's a very enthusiastic, charismatic type preacher. He's going to come in there and lay it on thick. He's going to tell the word of truth and he's going to do it in the spirit and he's going to speak with accuracy. You need to bring him in. Hallelujah. That's a little plug for CBM. Y'all need to do that. Because we believe that the greatest form of communication is word of mouth. That's how we live. Word of mouth is how we get from one place to another. Well, go ahead and tell people how we get to places. We were actually going to do this the other day. I do not call churches. I boast in the Lord that God calls me and I go out there. But the reason that we get to go to places is because people like you talk to your pastors and talk to your board or whoever and ask to bring us in. Absolutely, absolutely. We don't send out letters. We don't tell people that we're in their area. We don't do any of those kind of things. So it's it's you, the viewer, who can help us spread this message. And it's we've been doing this since the end of 2016, really the beginning of January of 2017. Mm-hmm. And we do not call places. They call us. So help us spread that message. So watch what Apollos did. Apollos arrived in Achaia, I guess is the way that mm-hmm. you say that. And he said when he arrived there, he refuted the Jews. Now, remember, Apollos was a Jew. Let's back up. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos. So this is a guy that used to walk in the law of Moses and is now walking under the law of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay? He refuted the Jews, which means he proved to them their false and error of ways. Yes. To prove, he refuted them, to prove to be false or in error. He had a powerful argument, okay? Powerful Mm -hmm. argument. He had hard evidence as a publicly debated, he publicly debated the Jews on their beliefs using the scripture to be the example to them that Jesus was the Messiah. Come on. He showed them. He preached with enthusiasm. He was charismatic, and he just released the word of passion. He was a passionate, charismatic, hard-preaching man of God. He learned more. He was a student of the word of God. He listened to those around him. He debated the hardest people that there were to debate, the Jews. Mm -hmm. And he spoke with an accuracy to where they could not rebuttal him because of the word of truth that he was releasing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We need more Christians like that and believers like that today. We need people that know the word of God and the spirit of God and can bring them two together. We need to be charismatic. We need to be uplifting. We need to preach the word of truth. Yes, yes. And we need to be students of the word of God. And we need to stand for the truth. And we need to make sure that we have a covering or people with us that know how to speak truth into us and do it in a manner that is love. Hello, Mm -hmm. love. Yes. And do it correctly. Well, and you mentioned covering, Chris, and you might <clears> want to <throat> touch on that for just a second because we don't believe in people just, and neither is it's it's not biblical for you yeah, just to get a whim and go do things on your own. You yeah, have to have, we a, have a covering. A covering. And, and if you know us, you know that we have a spiritual father and we have a pastor, and we are ordained through our spiritual father's ministry. And yes. he has an apostle over his life, which my spiritual father is like my apostle. And yes. then I have my pastor that I glean from. And yes. listen to, but I don't take his words and go preach them. I receive the word of the Lord yes. for myself. So yes, don't regurgitate someone else's message. <laughs> hear this word. I'm, I, Apollos mm-hmm. is debating the hardest people to debate mm-hmm. the Jews because they think they know it all. They think they got it right because they're still stuck in the law of Moses and they don't understand that Jesus is the Messiah. Okay, Ooh. so we've got the right people around them. They got the right people around them to do this. Now, here's what I want to tell you. Now, listen, let 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 me do this and make a disclaimer right here. All of this was what you should be doing as a Christian. We should be charismatic. We should be preaching the word with truth. We should be learning. We should be students of the word. We should be debating the hardest people. You don't debate somebody because you don't know the word. Woo! Come on now. And you got to know the word in order to debate somebody in order to change their metanoia and way of thinking yes. away from a debased mind and over to a mind of righteousness and holiness. That being said, don't interrupt me. I know you're about to. Stop, woman. I've got it. I'll, the I'll Lord memorize bless you it. And keep you. I'll memorize Remember, it. Remember, you need like a little notepad. You write it down. 
I got it. Okay, that's what commentators do. They write stuff down. So what Greg, Greg Gutfield, he'll write it down, and when it's his turn, <laughs> then he'll do it. Okay. Tonight. Oh, bless God. Tonight. Now I'm coming here. Mm -hmm. Case study. Yes. Word and current event. Mm -hmm. Tonight, you're going to watch a debate. One of these men has had men and women of God around him. Mm -hmm. Praying for him, teaching him, giving him wisdom and guidance. Amen. Now watch it. The natural man can not understand the things of God. Absolutely. That's why you've got to be spirit yes. and man. Because the spirit is going to weed out and show you where the false narrative is and the junk. One of these men is going to be very... Charismatic. I would go even further to say that both of these men will be charismatic. Both of these men will be passionate. Both of these men are going to speak hard. But one is going to debate with accuracy and facts mm -hmm. and powerful arguments, while the other one will do it out of anger mm -hmm. and out of strife and will try to make his passion or his his flamboyancy look like passion. Instead, it will be a backed up anger and you'll see it. You'll see it in their countenance. Eyes open on Christians You'll today. see it in their countenance. Yes. One will be frazzled and the other one will not. One will be so frustrated. They will start saying things. One is going to try to fact check the other with Falseness. Mm -hmm. Watch it. False, you can't. Falsehood. You can't fact check somebody with false things. You got to fact check them with truth. Yes. Just yes. like in the Word of God. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to listen with the ears of the Holy Spirit tonight to know what is factual, what is a lie, yes. and what matters most. Amen. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to look at this. You're gonna have to see. Can one of these men? A practicing, oh, whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. One of these men, a verbally declared Catholic. Self-proclaimed. Self Self-proclaimed Catholic. Can you come against your own party that is saying that this Catholic child of God that Amy is Barrett. going to be put on the Supreme Court, can you stand up in your belief and say, Y'all need to quit talking against her religion because it's my religion and I won't stand for that. If he can't do that, come on. He's not a spiritual man of God. He's a he's a puppet that's being used by other people. Come on. To say junk. Well, okay? to, to get through how can, their liberal agenda. How can two people come together in less than a month after one called him a racist since they were a child? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what Harris said about Biden. Watch this. I was trying not to use names. Oh, I'm sorry. And you just threw names out there. I'm sorry. Hope it don't get censored. <laughs> it won't get censored in Jesus' name. All right, guys. Watch what Apollos did. Mm -hmm. He debated. Yes. He refuted the Jews, mm -hmm. watch this, which were the religious people of his day, those that were running things. Come on. And he came against them with truth and passion. Yes, and enthusiasm, yes, yes. Word and Holy Ghost. Yes. And you know what they did? They started changing their minds. Mm -hmm. They started changing the way they thought because they said, this guy knows something. Yes. You're going to see that tonight. Yes. Now, we pray that as people watch, that the Holy Spirit will change their minds based upon the Word of God, not based upon what a politician says. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we need that. Do you remember? We need, we need to be the people yes. that refute those that are liars, but we can't do it without the Word of God and the Holy Ghost. Do you remember the word, um, or at least paraphrasing the word that Faith sent this morning that she mm -hmm. felt the Holy Spirit say? Well, she was I'll good, just, but I can't remember it. Our daughter, we woke up this morning. She wakes up um, at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning so she can get in the Word before she goes to school. And she heard the Holy Ghost saying this morning that 
the shades that have been on on people's spirit is going to be removed. It's going to be removed and lifted tonight. And there is going to be like a flashlight that is going to spotlight areas and that people who have not had discernment are going to have discernment. People who have not had wisdom are going to have wisdom and they are going to see the truth revealed. And so agree with us that truth will be revealed. Um, this is the, the most important time mm -hmm. in our nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, in history, what is coming up in November mm -hmm. is the greatest moment physically in our nation. And we are... Well, spiritually, too. Well, yes, because we're believing that that where the world has, has brought in compromise and has brought in sin and made it acceptable, that God Almighty mm -hmm. is going to come through and overflow upon our nation and mm -hmm. bring our nation back to the foundations that it was designed for, that we are going to be a God-fearing nation in Jesus' name. If you want to see the Church of Jesus Christ rise up in this nation yes. and have four more years of preaching, teaching, Praising religious freedom <laughs> in free. It, that's what's going in religious yes. freedom. You got one guy saying something and tearing down somebody in his own congregation. Mm -hmm. That's not Jesus. Amen. That's the devil. Yes. Wake up Christians. Yes. Be like Apollos. Gain wisdom. Gain word. Preach with enthusiasm. Yes. Hello. <clears throat> Preach the word with accuracy. Yes. Declare, decree. Call those things that aren't as though they are. Walk into a church. Yes. Don't, don't walk in there. Now, when I say this, make sure you don't walk in there as a, re as a rebellious idiot. Walk in there under authority. Or go, if you're not a pastor, an evangelist, or something, and you don't have the authority to speak out in a church, don't you dare do it, because then you'll be in the wrong. Go to your job, go out there. Watch this. We declared over a deaf boy last Sunday. Two days ago. Be healed. By, and it, I didn't even know he was deaf. Mm -hmm. I heard a prophetic word that God was about to unleash his hearing. Yes. And his girlfriend said, he's deaf in his right ear. And that's what he needs is healing in his hip. And I said, by faith be healed in Jesus' yes. name. And I snapped my fingers and he did like that. He goes, that was loud. And his ear popped open. He goes, my ear popped, came open, he can hear. That, my friend, is what Paul talked about. I didn't come to you with flattering words and excellence of speech. I tried that in Athens. It didn't work. Nobody got saved. I come to you with demonstration and power. Yes. Watch for demonstration and power tonight. Watch yes, for it. Yes. God will show up. Yes. Amen. Any man, woman, or child that will allow the Lord to use them, God will show up. Yes. Okay? And he'll show up for you. And he's standing with you today. Yes. To God be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. God is not a respecter of persons. If he can do it for that young man on Sunday, he can do it for you. If you are watching right now and you need healing or you need God to come through on your behalf to remove depression, anxiety, restore your marriage, we just declare over you Amen. right now the blood of Jesus, now. the healing power of Almighty God, the delivering power of Almighty God, and we thank God in advance and anticipate the testimonies now. that are to come. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. There's so many, there's hundreds of you that are just now jumping on, um, that jumped on in like the last 15, 20 minutes or so. Share this, tag this, help us spread this message of hope mm. and truth. As the day is continuing, just spread the gospel. Help spread the message of Jesus. There's so many Christians right now that are, and, and I know that this is sad, I don't even know how really to say this, but there's so many Christians that are teeter-tottering on a fence of, of which way they're going to go right now. And we just proclaim claim right now that every root that has made them lukewarm would just cease in the name of Jesus Amen. and that they would choose Jesus. Sprinkle. They would stand for Jesus. They would proclaim his message. Sprinkle this word. Yes.
Also, for those of you that may not know, we are headed out to Florida tomorrow, to Palatka, Florida. We are starting a revival Thursday through Sunday. But so we are going to do a PWOD tomorrow morning. Yes, we will be on the PWOD tomorrow morning. But we are going to be in Palatka, Florida at Victory House Church. So if you are close to the St. Augustine, Jacksonville, um, kind of Tampa area, please come jump into revival with us. What jump God, in. Jump in. What God is doing with pastors Mark and Rachel Chumney, which are some very very good friends of ours, um, is absolutely incredible in that region and in that area. So come jump in with us. So we will have a PWOD tomorrow. And after that PWOD, we'll be jumping in the old CBM caravan. The and Yukon. <laughs> Loaded heading, down. Heading eight hours away. Yes, it'll be a great journey. So Praise the Lord. Be praying for Thank us Thank you, Jesus, advance. that we got a job. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that we have a place to go preach the word. Amen. Now here's what happens. You help us do it. Yes. With your contribute, with your contributions, donations, donations, yes. and those of you that give to this ministry, you help us do what we're doing right now. Yes. This frees us up so that we don't have to go do something else. Hello, yes. Yes. we preach from the word, we reap from the word. Yes. So here we are preaching the gospel Monday through Friday, nine thirty. Eastern Time Zone, 8.30 Central, and so forth. And yes. we get to do it because of you. So we want to ask you today, because of the travel we are taking and where we are going, sow a special seed. Yes. If you want to sow a seed into Palatka, Florida, a seed to reap a harvest into souls, healings, deliverance, and so forth, I want you to sow that seed today and watch what God does in your life through the harvest of the ministry of revival. I hear the Lord telling me, he goes, you need yes. to tell people when you go somewhere, sow a seed into that harvest so that they may reap also. Yes, go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com. There's ways there where you can partner or make a one-time donation. Again, chrisbrooksministries.com. Someone that has that link, if you could please throw it up there for us, for all of our viewers, that would be amazing. Somebody said something about PayPal. Um, yeah, all of that information is on our website, chrisbrooksministries.com. We have secure... Um, online giving. Online giving. Uh, it's through an organization. It's a Christian organization called Tithely. And, and that, it doesn't mean tithe. It, Tithely is just the name of the company. That's the platform. All of that information is on our website. It's a Christian organization, and that was our conviction because we wanted to make sure that seed went in also to the right place and through the right place. Um, also, we have... Thank you, Cody. Love you, buddy. We also have brand new merch that's on our website. Yeah. Go and pre-order our brand new merch. We have a newly designed Revival Lifestyle, and we have a Pray One shirt. Army Green, baby. If you don't know what the Pray One initiative is. You need to go check out is, the Pray One initiative. It is on our website. You're Sign gonna, up. Yes. Be a, be a part of Pray One. Yes. Tell them a little bit about what Pray One is. Pray One is a word that the Lord gave me about coming together and praying at least an hour a day because Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he turned to the disciples when they were sleeping and he said, in the moment of need and the time of desperation, can you not pray one hour? Yes. Can you not give God prayer and go for one hour? Thank yes. you. You're right. We are missionaries of America. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Dale. I that's appreciate exa that. That's exactly what we are. Overseas missionaries is just a word that a, a denomination gave and put in there because all they are is overseas evangelists. That's so it. we are stateside missionaries to help stir the church of God in these last days. And that's what God's called us to do. And that's what we're doing. Back to pray one. Go check it out online. Yes. Amen. Website, chrisbrooksministries.com. Go to partner, donate. Prayerfully consider and hear from the Holy Spirit what it is that you are to sow to be a part of this kingdom assignment. We need you and we thank you for all your prayers and all your support. Amen. Are you ready to be blessed this morning? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. For you are the head, not the tail, above and not beneath. You are the top, not the bottom. Yes. We declare no plague, no pestilence, no tragedy shall come against you. We declare right now that this word is penetrated to the very marrow of your yes. bones, shifted the DNA of who you are so that you look more like Jesus and less just like you after this word. We declare right now that though a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, it will not come near your dwelling. We declare yes. that the best is yet to come over you. And today is the day that the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Sprinkle yes. this word, get it out there. And remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Bye. Be blessed.